Hello and welcome back to the shop here. Today we're going to be working on a Honda HRN 216 self propel lawnmower. This mower starts and runs fine, no issues there, but the self propel won't pull. The belt's slipping really bad on it. Most of the time that's what it is on these, it's a slipping belt. Sometimes your gears will start to wear out in the wheels. If that happens, you'll hear like a grinding noise. Uh, every time you go to engage the self propel, you'll see that the wheels the, and the gears are grinding down in here. That's not the case on this one. It's a slipping belt. I'm going to show you an easy way to put this belt on here. And I'll put links down below where you can order the belt if you need one. First thing you want to do is turn the gas off. Turn the fuel valve off. So we, when we flip the engine on the side, we don't flood it. The second thing I like to do is I like to pull the air filter off the mower. That way when we're tipping it over back and forth, if a little fuel runs out of the carburetor, we don't get it on our air filter. These air filters are paper. If we get them wet, sometimes it'll have to dry out before. It also, just to be safe, go ahead and pull this spark plug boot off there. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take this blade off. A 14 millimeter socket. If you can get that center both out, you can pull the blade and the hub all, all off at one time. That's what I like to do. You know, just regular, normal threads. Now what we want to do is remove this guard right here. It's got two screws. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket. Roll this belt off this pulley here just to give ourselves a little bit more room back there at the back. You don't have to take this pulley all the way off. Just, just roll that belt off the pulley either side just to give yourself some slack back there. Okay, now back here at the back, we're going to unhook this cable from this transmission. Just push the transmission up and the cable will usually just fall off just like that. Okay, now we just gave ourselves more room up here at the front. We can slip this belt completely off this crankshaft up here. Okay, we need to move this bar back out of the way a little bit. So your height adjuster on your wheels, just put them all the way in the highest position, just like that. Now we can pull this belt. Just reach up here and grab this belt. Pull it completely out. Okay, now we've got this pulley exposed right here. This pulley is actually a, a multi-piece pulley here. So we're going to back this nut off, take the belt off, slip the new one on, and start to go into reverse order. We're going to use a 14 millimeter wrench to unloosen this nut, unscrew it. The end of this shaft here, it's got some notches on it where you can grab it with an adjustable wrench, just like that. So grab that with, and then break it loose. See, that wasn't even that tight. Okay, loosen this nut off. You don't have to take it completely off. Roll the belt off. Okay, there's your old belt right there. We're going to go ahead and slip the new belt on. Back on. Roll it on there, just like that. But this multi-piece pulley, it's got some little eyelets that you have to line up. I'm going to take a, a close-up picture of this pulley. I line up here, a little detent there. Where it lines up, you can feel it when it locks in. You can turn it to make sure it's good and true here. Okay, now we can go ahead and tighten this nut up. That's good and tight right there. So now we're just going to go back the way we came with everything. Shove the belt up in this hole right here. You can just reach up in this hole down here on this end and pull this belt out just like that. Now go ahead and slip this belt up over the crankshaft just like that. Don't put it on the pulley yet. That cable that we took off, we need to hook it back up. Cable just hooks around the end of this. Here. All right, you can see we got our cable hooked back up there. All right, when you get your cable hooked back up there, you can go ahead and put the belt back on the pulley down here. 
double check, make sure everything looks good. All right, everything looks good here. You can see that we didn't have to pull any of this plastic guard off and stuff. That just creates a lot of extra work and a lot of extra time and a lot of extra expense uh, for the customer if he's paying somebody to do it. So there's no use pulling all this off. You can see that this belt is, you know, it's, it's in really bad shape here. It's just all eat up. All righty, we're ready to go ahead and put this blade back on now. It's got a key right here in the crank that stayed here. We never even had to take it out. Put our 14 millimeter bolt back in, our 14 millimeter socket. What we're gonna do is go ahead and turn it back over now and test this out. Go ahead and turn your fuel back on. We'll go ahead and put our air filter back on. Remember, we raised the back of the mower up. We're gonna go ahead and drop that back down. We're gonna go ahead and put the plug wire back on. I'm gonna fire it up, and we're gonna see if those back wheels turn. Pull. I believe that would be a successful test there. Honda built some other mowers like this with a different model number that you can install the belt in the same manner that I did this one. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it saves you some time and money. And that way you can get back out there and get to mowing a little bit faster. And stay tuned for more repair videos. Thank you.